ICT is being advocated for as the next frontier whose adoption is expected to usher in much-needed growth for the people living in Africa. And while the continent accounts for 14% of the world's population, it still lags behind in the use of ICT, though in the recent past it has been encouraging. Africa is a developing continent and has got diversified countries and in the in the maturity level and the maturity curve of transforming to ICT it's actually different from a country to country but there is no doubt that it is the third largest growing region worldwide there is a lot of extremely good initiatives from the governments to transform the society a number of African governments have prioritized ICTs in their national agendas, appreciating the great impetus and contribution that communication plays in the development process. People queuing for getting a public service and filling up forms manually and changing from a, a, you know, a counter to another to get one service you know, um, uh, done can be further improved dramatically to within this e-government initiative to have it as e-document kind of management where people um, spend less time, less efforts and get better services. There is a lot of good initiatives by the government um, authorities. Innovation has become the new game changer in the field of ICT today and during this week's regional information technology business workshop hosted by Hewlett Packard, IT suppliers were keen to showcase the latest products in the market. It is important for customers now that are investing to get the best return on investment. So for us is to become even more creative in order to uh, um, invent new products that uh, uh, are answering customer needs. Um, and uh, we're all working together. We have all the same issues right now. That is uh, being even more productive, uh, getting more value, if you will, for, for your money. The shift from analog printing to digital has opened fresh growth opportunities for businesses and other consumers alike, besides significantly reducing environmental impact. HP is a major contributor and a leader in a lot of aspects in making a contribution to environmental stability. Everything that we produce from design to disposal is following the environmental specifications. The more we accelerate transformation from analog to digital, the more we contribute to environmental stability. The use of ICT by businesses have enhanced their competitive advantage as well as contributed positively to their bottom line due to the opportunities presented for cost savings. We are doing uh, some uh, projects on uh, networking, uh, centralized UPS, uh, we are also implementing a system for, uh, like, uh, anti to control fuel siphoning, so that uh, we can uh, take care of our costs and uh, be able to track our vehicles wherever they are. So this uh, has led to great accountability in terms of uh, our resources. Despite the immense challenges offered by adoption of information technology, the growth of the counterfeits market is curtailing the growth of the market. This has seen the confiscation of 69,531 fake items in Africa this year, with the Kenyan authorities seizing a massive 36,461 items in 2009. Uh, what is driving counterfeiting is mostly the economy. Um, you know, to purchase, uh, if you're coming back on the, on the printing environment, uh, the counterfeiting on the on cartridges, for instance, is something that we can find everywhere. But what the customer has to understand, when you purchase a counterfeit product, you pay a very good price, okay? This is a key value proposition. However, the quality of the product is not great. Moving forward, it is expected the penetration of technology and access of ICT products in particular will increase competitiveness in all industry sectors in Africa and help improve services across the development spectrum.